Hi guys, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone had a really fantastic Christmas. Um, you know, and that you got lots of goodies and, you know, had a really nice time with family and friends and ate lots of lovely food and all the rest of it. So we're here for another one of our alphabet challenges. Wow, can't believe it. I know I say it every time, but we're actually up to W now, would you believe? Now, toyed with what to do well, for W quite a long time and, um, I have decided to do where the wild things are. Um, so basically, jungly kind of themed or just wild. Um, I mean, you could kind of tone it down and do wildlife. I like birds and things like that, really, um, if you're joining along. So I have decided let's go really out there and do where the wild things are. Um, you know, as in, you know, jungly kind of animals and things like that. So I'm going to be using some of my um, papers and my fussy cuts from my Super Safari kit. Um, and I might also use some of my freebie papers that, um, you know, hopefully lots of you have um, downloaded and printed that I gifted you for Christmas. So I just thought that they may tie in quite nicely. So I'm going to be using those. Um, and yeah, if you're wanting to play along, uh, just bring some images. Now, I, you know, I've said that I'm going to be using these. You do not have to buy my kit to do this. You can find any wild animal images, magazines, um, you know, download them from Google Images. You don't have to buy my kit. Please don't think that I'm saying that. Um, you know, any images that you can kind of locate from old kids books and things like that or encyclopedias. Loads of things have wild an animal um, images. And as I say, you can tone it right down and do just wildlife like birds and things like that. You don't have to do the jungly thing. Um, I'm going to just because I fancy doing something a bit bright and colourful and really different. So let's hit the timer. You're going to need, obviously, if you're playing along, your scissors, your glue, um, maybe your uh, distress uh, stuff and lace and things like that. So I'm going to hit the timer now and let's get crafting. There we go. Right, now, didn't know quite what to do here. So what I found and stumbled across while I was kind of going through things, I had a really long time ago um, just popped these lovely images of flowers and things onto these ready to make some tags. And I thought, I mean, this one in particular, perfect for this wildlife um, theme that I've got going on here. So obviously I've cheated a bit. It's just literally a floral page that I've glued on to some card there to make a tag. You know, you haven't missed anything really exciting or anything like that. So I'm just going to take one of my wild um, wildlife images and pop that onto my tag. So, let's have a look. I'll just cut this. Um, oh gosh, what's the what's the name of these birds? Is it a toucan? Toucan. I don't feel like I'm pronouncing that quite right. You can probably hear by my voice. I still, would you believe it? I'm not really feeling too good. Um, it didn't really ruin Christmas or anything. Um, you know, was was able to manage to uh, participate in Christmas and things like that. But yeah, just not feeling still at, um, you know, 100%. It's dragging on, let's just say. I think I've had it for about 10 days now, which is very irritating. Okay. So it just comes around this. So I hope everyone got some really nice things at Christmas. We got our lovely family getaway in a tree house. So it's for three nights later on in next year. Um, well, I say later on, it's in the spring. Um, so Santa very kindly left us all a lovely ticket um, for that. So that was really exciting. My middle son, he got some trainers, so he was pretty pleased with those. And my oldest son, he was a bit more tricky, I think, for Santa. So 
he got some things like um he got one of those thermos flasks you know like for food rather than drink so he got one of those so i think he was i think he was quite chuffed with that well certainly i think he will be once he comes to use it he might at the moment be thinking oh gosh what rubbish but um i think he will be once he comes to use it and he's working outside and it's freezing and then he's able to have some hot food i'm sure that he'll then think it was great just going to glue that on there. <coughs> um, and my daughter, wow, she got lots of really lovely things. So my eldest son said, oh my gosh, it just looks like somebody has literally, um, you know, using his words, vomited rainbow and pink everywhere. Because she got a lot of... <laughs> rainbow coloured and pink coloured things it's really um the in thing at the moment you know if you've got sort of girls in your family at all you've probably noticed that there's just like these rainbowy unicorny type things everywhere and i mean oh my gosh as a child i would have been absolutely in my element needless to say my daughter absolutely loves all of that stuff so she got things like um, furry, furry bags, furry gloves, um, well, you name it, it was, uh, it was furry and colourful, you know, literally in these like beautiful rainbow colours. She got loads of those kinds of things. So she was pretty chuffed. What else did she get? I don't know she got um lots of of yummy things she got like these little dangly key rings and things like that to hang off of her rainbow rucksack um oh she got like even rainbow colored candy floss and lots of lots of rainbow stuff she got so she was pretty chuffed And she's obviously been making a mess around the house ever since. But we'll let her off. It is Christmas after all. Although I suspect that she'll still be making a mess with all that stuff way into the new year. But yeah, she, um, she had a good time. And the thing is, you know, I'm sure Santa found this, is girl stuff is so um, accessible. It's very easy to... Um, get things for girls you can get all manner of things very cheaply you know lovely lovely things for really not much money as stocking fillers and I'm sure you know Santa probably struggles much more when it comes to boys because there's not half the amount of you know rubbishy things that you can buy especially for a really cheap sort of amount and looks really awesome so that was really, really fun. Right, I'm just going to go around the edge of my tag because I really like doing that. Okay. Okay, and then I'm just going to ink this up with my walnut stain persevering with the walnut stain but liking it I am liking it yes I was um, having a look through to decide what to do for the letter W and you know as I have done each time that I'm coming up with the ideas unless I've got something <coughs> something concrete that I've definitely want to do um, <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I might just have to pause the video and just have a bit of drink. So hold on, guys. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, right, okay, I should just carry on with the clock. I haven't touched anything, I promise. Um, yeah, what I've tended to do each time, you know, when I'm coming up with something to do for the letter, unless I've got a concrete plan already, 
is um, you know googled the words beginning with a letter and um, I googled W you know words for W because the only thing that I just kept coming back to was washi tape now I don't really use washi tape very often I mean I had fun making my own um, and I have used that in a few places actual washi tape though I don't very often use it so um, I was struggling how I would do like three pieces use you know utilizing washi tape um, so I gave that one a miss I mean I did think I could create three lots of washi tape but I thought actually that might be just fun for a different video so I am going to I think revisit that but not at the moment um, so I was trying to come up with other ideas and we nearly had this word now can I remember it I think it was west westage now I'm thinking that doesn't sound right maybe I've maybe I can't remember the uh, word but I think it was westage or something which means texture um, so we nearly had that to do sort of textury items um, and then just suddenly I stumbled across something else wild and I thought oh we could do like where the wild things are so um, yeah hence we've ended up with that I mean I love using colour so for me this is like really fun to be able to use a bit of colour that's just like right up my street to be honest going to put a hole in the corner and then do one of my one of my thingamajigglies hole reinforcers so I just I haven't inked these I don't know quite why but I can't spot my ready inked ones just you know to hand so I just ink a few more I'll put that down there okay I mean I realize that this probably isn't kind of up everyone's street but that's why I say you know you could adapt yours and have um, wild as in you know more like vintagey birds more subtle and things but I thought wow what a fantastic excuse to use a bit of gorgeous color so Okay, and to be fair, I don't think that necessarily looks unvintagey. Not saying it's conventional with what we normally kind of do, but I don't mind it. Now I've got one of those little postage stamp charms that we made in a tutorial. So I'm just going to punch a little hole in there, like that. And I'm just going to hook that on, I think, with a, a bulb. Pin. So excuse my arm reaching across here. There we go. And actually, as I reached into my tin, I suddenly spotted this little orange flower. So, so I'm just going to thread that and then thread it through the lace, I think. So, mm -mm, come on. Like that. Oh, that's so cute. Now, where would we have our orange flower? Maybe just here. Looking cute. Now, actually, just before I glue that down, that's a bit too, a bit too in your face, do you think? Mm -hmm. Do you know what? The thing is, I now I've put it there, I take it away and I think, no, put it back. It is nice there. So we'll have that vibrant lime green flower there and the orange so thank you so much for everybody's lovely comments by the way about my um you know my change in my circumstance so i really really appreciate it i'm still looking at comments i i don't know whether i'm just going to have to just leave one big comment at the top because i'm struggling to kind of get on top of my comments at the moment um, but thank you so much and what I have come to realize about myself I'm just gonna put this to one side and we'll do another one 
Uh, what I have come to realise a bit about myself is um, I really struggle to not reply to every single comment. Um, you know, sometimes I think, oh, I'm just going to go down and just um, give them all a like, you know, read them, but give them all a like and not actually get sort of, you know, sucked into kind of <laughs> replying. But the problem is, every time I read a comment, I then can't help myself but want to reply because, you know, I'm quite a chatty person, in case you haven't noticed. Um... And the chance are people are saying things that I want to reply to. You know, it's it's fun to reply. But obviously what's happening is I'm falling further and further behind with my comments. So I'm kind of thinking actually maybe I will write just one really big massive thank you to everybody. Purely because I'm sort of struggling to, you know... Um, comment in some sort of timely manner so I might just do that for, for that and maybe also for the Christmas um, you know giveaway because obviously I'm also struggling to keep on top of that one now so yeah I do apologize and um, please don't think that it means I'm not reading I am reading where I struggle is obviously then not commenting on every single thing that I've read so yeah right but yes thank you so much and I hope that those people who have you know downloaded or you know printed off those um pages and just a quick word there I don't know whether you know I don't know how kind of the download thing works because obviously different laptops and all that have different things I hope that it all works for you guys. If it doesn't, hopefully you can just print them from the page where they are. Um, but anyway, I hope that you enjoy using them. So, uh, yeah, they're kind of versatile and, um, you know, that hopefully there's a mixture of very dark sort of pages and some, you know, lighter, more subtle ones that would hopefully go with a whole bunch of different projects and things so hopefully there's sort of something there for every, everyone right so I'm just going to fussy cut around this giraffe oh gosh he's got really thin legs so uh, that's going to be tricky cutting around his legs but oh and those things on his head I don't know quite what you would call those Are they like little horns antennas I don't know what are those called? No doubt loads of people know what they're called and I'm just probably really embarrassing myself with my ignorance of not knowing at all what they're called. Yes, haven't got a clue. Oops. Okay. So hopefully later today we're going to go out to the cinema and watch... Hopefully cats, um, you know, I'm not really feeling in, up to sort of going out for a walk and things like that. And I certainly don't want to kind of embark on going to the shops because, well, they'll just be heaving and horrible and, oof. I used to love shopping, but, oh, not really anymore. So, um, yes, I'm going to give the shops a wide berth and, uh, you know, avoid spending money on just more rubbish and yeah we're just gonna go to the cinema my oldest son's gone with his friend already he's gone to watch Star Wars which my young younger son or my my middle child um he went to watch Star Wars already this week with his friend that's not one for me so which I think I did mention the other day and said not for me Star Wars, yep, definitely not a film that's my cup of tea at all. I know loads of people love it and it's really popular, but oof, I couldn't think of anything I would less want to watch, to be perfectly honest. Right, let's just glue this, oops, glue this down. So who watched Gavin and Stacey on Christmas Day? 
we didn't watch it on Christmas Day because we were at my parents' house and, um, you know, my sister was there with her little boy and things. Um, so we were all having a nice time and chatting and we'd play in a board game and things like that. So didn't really want to kind of half watch Gavin and Stacey, so we watched it yesterday. Wow, I don't want to give any spoilers for anyone who's not watched it yet. But all I can say is, at the end, <laughs> my jaw just dropped open and I was just like, oh! <laughs> because, yeah, it ended on a cliffhanger, shall we say. So, at first, I thought perhaps it was a joke and that the credits were going to run for a couple of minutes and then it would restart. And it was like, oh, no! Yeah, but wow, it was really good was really good so if you watched it I hope you really liked it and um, yeah we thought it was brilliant okay <laughs> now I've got some fussy cut flowers here as well so I'm just going to cut out a couple of those so we'll just do one and Pink one or red one? Oh, I'm not sure now. Actually, I'm now thinking maybe a blue one would have been better. So let me just find a blue one. There we go. I've got leave things as well. Let's just go for this blue one down here. Oh, my time is really um, racing by now. I was thinking, oh, I've got plenty of time. As I do every week. I don't know why it's a surprise every week where where the time is running out. <laughs> Shouldn't really come as a surprise, should it? Because we've been doing this for a long time now. So obviously these are coming to an end now. I have got something else planned. I've been brainstorming and kind of thinking what, you know, what am I going to replace these with? So I've got a bit of an idea from something else that I um, was planning on doing. Have filmed quite a few. I'm going to, uh, I think, utilise those in a different way. So we just need to kind of look through them and see that they fit with the, the plan. So, but hopefully it's going to be something that you'll all really enjoy and, uh, you know, hopefully it will be something a bit different and a bit of fun, you know, like this. Well, not like this, but fun like this is what I mean. So, um, just cutting out some, not cutting out, sorry, just using some of my blue labels and then I just kind of layer them up a bit with a couple of flowers. Yeah, so I'm just going to glue my giraffe down. Like that. Okay. Just pop him there. Just use my dry wipe. Actually, I'm just going to move him up slightly so his head is kind of poking above the flowers. I think he's a little bit more visible then. Uh, then I'm gonna pop that label down there, which actually, again, I had meant to put the label on some lace, totally forgot, so never mind. Never mind, pop that over the giraffe's legs. Little orange flower. Oh my gosh, look at the time now. What am I doing? I must have been sat here just chatting away and chatting away, having a really nice time and just, wow, not realising. Right, let's just ink that up like that. I think that will have to do. Uh, my blue flowers. Do I want them? Oh, I just might just pop them just inside or something. I had intended on putting like a couple of sheets of paper in here, but anyway, that's fine like 
but so a little kind of fold out piece so that one's really nice and then the final piece I have got um, one of my little you know double book page pockets and again I just thought it's a bit cracking so ooh, what should we use the elephant maybe yeah maybe the elephant I mean I love those birds those parrots and things but let's just go for the elephant I should have really cut these out first because that's probably not really helping with the time thing really silent from downstairs and obviously um, you know everybody's home so my daughter is obviously she's probably eating sweets if the truth be known you know eating chocolate and what have you from the cupboard but she might be well probably making a mess actually but she got quite a lot of craft things and um, you know alongside the whole rainbowy fluffy furry stuff I mean, the rainbow fl furry things, she got like a rainbow notepad and stuff like that. But she got obviously like rainbow sellotape with glitter on and stuff like that. So uh, she's probably down there eating and also making a whole load of mess with all of that stuff. I think Santa tried to avoid glitter, if you know what I mean. He tried to buy, or, you know, tried to source or make, you know, however he obtains things. Tried to get things that weren't too glittery. Glittery things that had glitter stuck on was okay. Free glitter that's just shaking everywhere, not so great. So uh, I think he gave that a wide berth which seemed like a good idea. Right, there we go. Now, do I want to have some of my jungly background page stuff or shall I use those background pages that we gifted at Christmas, which I just thought actually went really nicely with the, um, the jungly kit. So I'm going to use some of those, I think. Excuse the back of this. I've obviously been using it for other, you know, testing other things. So I'm just going to tear down here. That's quite nice, isn't it? So I'm just going to tear across like that. Oh yeah, that's really nice. So I'm just going to glue this one down. Oh, I need to really hurry up. Have you seen the time now? I think four minutes. Okay, right, that's that one. Got our lovely elephant there. Aren't elephants just the most beautiful creatures? Absolutely lovely, aren't they? Yeah, I just love elephants, they're gorgeous. Uh, having a look to see what other labels and things that I've got and what flowers would I put on there? Maybe, maybe these two because they're just here and ready. fun to work with different um, different things I think oh for years that, um, elephants were kind of my favorite favorite animal I don't know whether they are now purely because I don't know about you guys but 
I just think actually there's so many beautiful animals that, I, to be honest, I really struggle to kind of narrow it down. They're just so many and they're just incredible, aren't they? So, um, yeah, I'm not quite sure now. It's quite nice like that, isn't it? Just have a look and see whether there's any other bits that we want on here. Oh, I've got a label thing here. I might just cut that out on a banner. No, oh, I'm going to struggle to cut this out now in the uh, time we have left. just make it shorter because it was quite a big banner okay so perhaps have this Maybe like that actually is quite nice. What do you guys think? Now, do we want to swap that for a pink label? Because I just felt like the green had like no place there because we haven't got anything else green on here. Admittedly, we could have put some of those green sort of leafy type bits, couldn't we? Oh, well, we'll just go for this now. So I'm just going to pop these flowers down. These are um, quite nice flowers to use for a change too. I don't know what type of flowers these are. My um, knowledge of flowers and what have you, not good. But they're quite nice to use something sort of a bit different. So, uh, and again, they're in really nice bright colors, which I just always love using a bit of color. There we go, and I'm going to have my elephant there, and just pop him on. Oops. Okie dokie. Pop that down like that. Oh no! My timer has gone. Sorry, I'm over time now. I'm going into cheating mode, I'm afraid. Because I just, I want to just quickly finish this off. So, uh, right, I'm going to have that down there. And then I'm just going to ink the entire thing. So I'm just going to tear this off here, across the bottom. I'm just going to cut my label piece off. That's okay, just going to ink around the entire thing. Like that. Okay, looks a bit more uniform now. Okay, all right. Okie dokie. So we've got that, and then I might just have a little bit of lace somewhere just to just to finish it off nicely which way which side down there or up here I think down there and obviously now we can have a bit of bling on there so oops I've got a big bubble now on my glue Okay, pop that down. Come on. Uh, oh no, come on. Okay. Pop that like that. And I will just pop a little bit of bling on because of course... Well, just because of course I can't resist. So... Uh, Put some some bling on here. Oh, I mean that just whoops. 
Sorry, I've got things now stuck all over me, I'm afraid. Okay, just going to pop this on here. Like that. Okay. Oh, how cute does that look? Oh, I love that. Right, so let's just have a bit of a recap of what we've made so far today. Well, not so far. I mean, obviously, this is the this is the episode. Now, for some reason, my timer is now saying 25 minutes. Oh, that's okay. It's because I stopped it. <laughs> for a minute, I thought, oh, what's going on with my timer? Right, okay, so we've got this one. Now, again, I haven't got a journal on the go, but I'm just going to show you what it would look like as a journal page. So, and obviously you've got your pocket there and you've got your pocket there. So really like how that looks, very nice. Then I've got this one here, with the giraffe. It looks like that one's walking behind it, doesn't it? So we've just got that one there. So that could just be paper clipped on or you could glue it on, however you like really. So that's that one. And then we've got this gorgeous tag here which obviously you could just kind of pop that into a pocket or paper clip it onto a page and it's got the vintage postage stamp hanging from it as well. So that's our three pieces that we've done today with where the wild things, where the wild things are. Um, so I hope that you like the pieces that we made. I hope it was a little bit fun. I thought it was nice to do something really different. So um, yeah, I hope that you liked it and thank you very much for joining me. See you again soon. Thanks, Em. Bye.